Cordelia was Lear's favorite, and she was too proud to pay him a compliment to keep the old man sane. Rather, Cordelia gave it all away and decided to marry the king of France for his army to try to get her father's land all back from Reagan and Goneril, those evil sisters of hers. Desdemona, daddy's beautiful little girl, who was expected to marry the best husband Venetian society had to offer. But instead, she defied her father and married interracially to Othello, an older man who treats her terribly and physically and mentally abuses her. Desdemona's love and lust for excitement and adventure were her downfall. Portia, she is smarter than any man, but we all are. Even though her father controlled who she could marry beyond the grave, she ended up with Bassanio, the man she wanted to marry. She even dressed up as a male lawyer and outsmarted the court to save Bassanio's friend Antonio. And she made sure her ring trick taught Bassanio that he should be loyal to her, to her over Antonio. I think that Portia, even though she was beautiful, liked being disguised as a man too much. Maybe she should have been born a man. Gertrude, of course we all respect the queen due to her age. Well, she should have been more discreet about her affair with her husband's murderer, Claudius, at least until after the deed is done. And she had to drink that poison wine to get away from her son, Hamlet, who would not stop talking about her sex life in public. I would have drunk the poison too to get away from annoying son like that. 